Did dinosaurs hunt in packs? Welcome to the Natural History of Dinosaurs. My name is Benjamin Berger. I'm a paleontologist at Utah State University teaching in the heart of Utah's dinosaur country in Vernal. Often we hear in popular science documentaries that dinosaurs could have hunted in packs and that dinosaurs were much more intelligent than we give them credit for. In this video we'll quickly discuss what evidence was there that carnivorous dinosaurs hunted in groups. One of the most remarkable early dinosaur sites is found at Ghost Ranch in New Mexico, where many individual specimens of the smaller theropod dinosaur Coeliophysis have been discovered. The site was discovered shortly after World War II by the famous dinosaur paleontologist Ned Cobert, who excavated at the site for several years. Even in the 1980s, new discoveries were being made of blocks of fossilized bones of Coeliophysis. The large jackets were sent to various museums to prepare. Even today, these blocks continue to reveal new discoveries. Fossils of these small, late Triassic dinosaurs emerged from the rock. Thousands of bones have been recovered to date. Now, Ned Cobert found that in several individuals, there were bones that were within the chest cavity and the cavity left by the stomach. These bones he interpreted as being members of the same species and hypothesized that Coeliophysis was cannibalistic. More recent evidence has shown that these bones belong to other animals and are not Coeliophysis. So what were so many small carnivorous dinosaurs doing to have all died together? Could this flock of dinosaurs represent some sort of pride or group of predators? Hmm, did they all hunt together? It's difficult to say, but one can uh, speculate that these predatory dinosaurs were attracted to the area before they died. Whether it was for a shared nesting site or in pursuit of prey, we really don't know. Another remarkable mass death uh, scene is found in central Utah at the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry, a large dinosaur quarry that's been continuously worked on since its discovery in 1929. Hundreds of bones have been recovered from the site over the years. What's remarkable about the site is that the vast majority of dinosaurs recovered to date are the carnivorous dinosaur, Allosaurus. How did so many individuals of Allosaurus, a carnivore, come to die at the site? What drew these animals to the area? And what killed them? Does the large number of Allosaurus individuals mean that they traveled in groups or hunted together? Evidence of predation has been found on various bones from the site, including bite marks in a Stegosaurus plate, a damaged Allosaurus vertebrae from a tail spike of Stegosaurus, and bite marks on the ilium of an Allosaurus, indicating scavenging and active predation at the site on the part of Allosaurus. All these lines of evidence demonstrate that Allosaurus was a predator of Stegosaurus and an opportunistic scavenger. These fossil sites don't clearly indicate whether predatory dinosaurs hunted in packs or in groups and if they were attracted to the sites for some unknown, unknown reason. Often predators are attracted to dangerous sites because of the presence of dead animals. The La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles contain a large proportion of dire wolves. The dire wolves likely hunted in packs like modern wolves do today, but were attracted to the tar pits from the animals that fell into it and had become trapped. This was tempting bait for wolves, and which found themselves stuck in the same fate, and they died. What we can say about dinosaurs is that they likely ate and pursued prey in much the same manner as living animals. How coordinated they were into groups, like a pack, well, that's speculation for now. What do you think? Appraise the evidence. Were theropod dinosaurs pack hunters?